Over the last several years, the agency has installed several roundabouts across the state on state highways. A modern roundabout is a one-way, non-signalized intersection where traffic flows in a counterclockwise pattern around a central island. We've done that mainly for uh, safety. They are designed to slow vehicular traffic down, typically to speeds of 15 to 25 miles an hour. At those speeds, collisions, if they happen, are typically less severe. They're actually environmentally friendly, and the agency can actually save money, about five to $10,000 a year, in maintenance costs and electricity costs by having it a roundabout versus a traffic signal. A modern roundabout has four basic parts. It has a central island, which is the large landscape island in the middle. It has a truck apron, which is a raised and textured concrete surface. Its main purpose is only to allow trucks to track their rear tires over. After that is a circulatory roadway, which is just your typical paved asphalt surface. And then on the far outside is what's called a splitter island. They're designed to steer or direct vehicles at a proper entry angle to the roundabout. A modern roundabout should not be confused with a rotary or a traffic circle. Those are typically larger intersections that have different driving rules associated with them. The proper way to drive a modern roundabout is to approach the intersection slowly, looking for both pedestrians and bicyclists. When you approach the yield sign, you will look for circulating traffic inside the roundabout. When a gap in that circulating traffic presents itself, you can enter the roundabout and you would drive around the circulatory roadway until you reach your desired exit, at which point you would use your turn signal and slowly leave the roundabout, again looking for pedestrians and bicyclists. The use of turn signal is important because it allows the driver behind them to know that they are leaving, but it also allows a driver of a vehicle trying to enter to know whether they're going to stay in the roundabout or leave the roundabout. At no point should a vehicle inside the circle stop. Drivers trying to enter the circle should always yield. One of the advantages of a modern roundabout is that a driver can keep circling until they find their proper exit. If they miss their exit for whatever reason, they can circle around again. Modern roundabouts are also useful for U-turns. They're a legal uh, means of making a U-turn. With proper driving technique, roundabouts in Vermont are a safer alternative for intersections.